Thanks again for coming and watching another one of my videos I'm posting up. Well, this is, I'm out my lake cabin goofing off. Nice, pretty full moon tonight. Anyway, uh, no, uh, my dad came to me a month ago or so and said, hey, uh, I want to mark something off my bucket list. And I said, oh, yeah? I said, what is that? And he goes, well, I want to go to Monument Valley. I said, oh, really? He said, yeah, I need somebody to drive me up there. Well, hey, I'm game. So I'm going to a nice dark sky uh, area and see what I can do. And uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I have these binoculars. Uh, they're old cheap pair of Jason uh, 10 by 50s I've been using for a while. And uh, uh, they, they've done a good job. Uh, I mean... Since I don't have anything to compare them to, they've done a good job. Well, I decided that I was going to splurge. Well, I not only splurged, but I upgraded. I upgraded to a nice pair of Celestron Skymaster 25x70s. Well, I've been playing with them for a while, and uh, it's good. I mean, they're probably not the best out there but they're good and they're better than what I had so anyway I took these photos through the eyepieces using my uh, telephone for these images they're just quick snapshots to see the difference between the two binoculars uh, problem is is after holding these bad boys up for a while compared to these my arms get a little tired a little quicker and seeing how I always shake. Anyway, these 25 by 70s really show the shake. And uh, even whenever I'm up against the wall or have my elbows propped on something, uh, I get to moving quite a bit. So what I did was I went out and got this. Hi. What we got here is the Ryan Paragon Plus binocular mount. It's a parallelograph, parallelogram uh, holder for the uh, 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 binoculars, so you don't have to hand hold it. Uh, counterweight on it to balance out the weight difference between the uh, uh, binoculars way out here on the end, just like your telescope. You have to uh, balance the telescope. So what, what you do is you mount the uh, binoculars on this end and then you adjust your weight accordingly so depending on the weight of your binoculars now with my binoculars my new pair that I got there's a little cap here where the uh, Celestron, Celestron logo is and that just unscrews put it somewhere where you won't lose it and it uh, uh, and underneath there is a uh, threaded spot for the mount and uh, it just the mount just screws right into the uh, telescope or right into the binoculars just like this and they'll tilt whichever way you want them to tilt but you kind of keep them straight I guess that's the whole life object of the idea but what you do is once you get your binoculars on then you kind of release these locks here to where you balance the binoculars to the counterweight just like you would your your counterweight on your telescope but uh, these two knobs they loosen and then this whole bar slides in and out so depending on the weight of your binoculars you can adjust it accordingly but basically what you're doing is you're getting it to where you can put it in place and it stays but you can also help alleviate that a little bit is to uh, tighten them down just a smidge not enough but you not too much or so that way you can still adjust them to where you want to and, and there's a knob right here that you loosen and uh, you can adjust the angle on your binoculars and once you get it set then you can tighten it back down and uh, view what you want and uh, say like you're out the star party maybe and a little little person comes up and wants to look through your binoculars well you can just rotate it down a little bit and get them more on his height 
height level and he can see what you're doing or you come here you come up and somebody's taller and they want to see what you're looking at you can adjust this up like this of course your tripod's got legs that make it adjust up and down uh, so it very can vary not only height this by adjusting this way but adjusting the height of your tripod now this this particular unit came with just the top portion of the head that's all I ordered because I had a tripod that I could use for it they also sell a package deal with the arm and a, a tripod and uh, uh, but I opted not not to do that just so I can save a little bit more money uh, they make there are several different of these on the market uh, you can get wooden ones you can get metal ones uh, some of them have the arm for the binoculars that makes the binoculars look this way across this way instead of like this and that way you can sit and and be offset to the binocular to the to the tripod which is I guess is probably a little bit better uh, for sitting purposes your chair doesn't get in the way and you can and and uh, things like that but uh, and then they also have one that you can buy that has got an arm here that will pivot around like this so you can actually pretty much look in any angle without moving the arm <coughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, and they, like I say, they vary in they vary in costs. And uh, uh, I got this one from Orion. I don't know if it's Orion made it, but they put their name on it and sold it. So anyway, uh, and I have used it a few times since since I've gotten it, and uh, I think it works great. Uh, I can actually steady steadily look at something I want, and as as the night progresses, it's easy to adjust for the difference in the uh, uh, as it goes across the sky uh, so anyway uh, this is one of my new toys for my trip all right let's take a closer look at these Celestron binoculars I got uh, for my trip and to upgrade what I had anyway uh, it's a Celestron and it comes with a nice little carrying case with a shoulder strap here and uh, uh, it's got the Velcro thing on it. Of course, it comes with the binoculars. It also came with a, uh, uh, binoc a tripod holder that screws onto your tripod. And came with a lens cleaning cloth uh, of course it's got the uh, covers for the eyepieces and the uh, covers for the uh, for the uh, optical lens and like I say uh, this little cap right here is the uh, part that you screw off to uh, uh, attach the uh, binoculars to either the tripod stand or the parallel par parallelogram that I got to mount them on, but that just screws right on here like this. And then it mounts to the uh, tripod here. All right. And then, of course, the eye cups are fold down eye cups eye cups give you 13 millimeters of eye relief so in other words uh, that's the correct distance basically from your eyeball to the lens and if you're wearing glasses then you can fold them down like that and the distance between the glasses in here and your eyeball is then about 13 millimeters. So it works really good with eyeglasses. Of course, I wear eyeglasses, so I fold the cups down to use my eyeglasses whenever I'm uh, viewing through them. Okay, the exit pupil, which is the uh, diameter here of the uh, light coming through, is... 2.8 millimeters 
I'm not sure what that means as far as, but I think that has to do with the uh, how much of a circle you see through the eyes. Uh, anyway, field of view are 2.7 degrees on here. And in here, if you notice, it 5 by 70s. FOV is field of view is 27%. So you see 141 feet at 1,000 yards, or for uh, metric, it's 47 meters at 1,000 yards. All right. Uh, it's got a pretty decent ball grip uh, rotation focuser on it to focus, uh, easy focus. Uh, the... Uh, uh, the right eyepiece has got an adjustable focus on it. And the left eyepiece is a fixed focus. So I guess what you really want to do is focus on your object using your, your left eye and then fine tune your right eye to match. Interpupillary distance can be adjusted and the maximum is 72 millimeters or 2.83 inches and that can be adjusted by moving the uh, eyepieces in or out. All right, uh, there's grip. Here is where you're actually supposed to hold the good holding on the uh, uh, binoculars is, is here like this and they've got a uh, bumped area to help with the uh, holding so it doesn't slip out of your hands the whole uh, set of binoculars has got a plastic or silicone coating on it uh, see it's kind of all the way through so it's it helps with the water for dew and stuff like that keeps the helps keep it a little bit waterproof not watertight uh, and also the way carrying it's a little easier it doesn't want to slip out of your hands as easy uh, I got two placements down here on the bottom for your thumbs cut out the objective lens diameter, which is this size, is the 70 millimeters, or 2.75 inches. Uh, and like I say, they're pretty sturdy binoculars. They're probably, you know, they're not the most expensive pair uh, out there on the market, uh, which means they're probably not the best pair out on the market. But uh, I feel that they're they're exceptional. Uh, of course, like I said, uh, I don't have anything but that smaller pair that I had to compare them with, and uh, I feel that they do a fine job. Uh, you know, like I say, I am just an, uh, a hobbyist, so I'm not wanting to put in a whole bunch of money into this, uh, but I want to have good enough equipment to enjoy it and I feel that this pair of binoculars is is good this size 25 by 70s is uh, not bad for uh, for my use and uh, I, I, I like them anyway uh, that's just my opinion and everybody uh, I'm sure will say uh, they have their their types that they prefer and uh, uh, even so even a different type of Celestron. But there's all sorts of makers out there uh, with binoculars. So it's really a, a judgment of money, how much you want to spend. Uh, and uh, this is a good set.